Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is flight number 18, ready for takeoff. Please fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an amazing journey as we explore the growth of Chabad of Port Washington over the past 17 years. Always on the runway towards even greater heights. Chabad's approach is never to be satisfied with what has been accomplished to date. Always on the rise to greater heights of accomplishment in their goal of expanding Jewish education, identity, and solidarity. Please sit back and enjoy. Onward and upward. Chabad of Port Washington is a living testimonial to all the good things in life. People need purpose in life. Connecting with Chabad, for me, imparts purpose to life. It, it provides a basis to have a meaningful effect not only on myself but on other people. <laughs> You think back to when Rabbi and Sarah Paltiel came to Port Washington, they operated out of an apartment, a rented apartment, and they're now in this incredible facility, brand new, beautiful classrooms, library, gym, a new gymnasium, high school sized gymnasium being built at the site. So it's incredible to be a part of uh, something as powerful and as good and as beneficial to so many people, and that really makes me feel proud. I think what Chabad House does for people is make them feel right at home. It is a very non-judgmental uh, way of looking at the world and it makes everyone very comfortable with embracing Judaism and embracing the culture. The rabbi has a way of making your inner flame come out. His smile and his embracing gave me a lot of comfort. When I lived in Houston, I sought out Chabad. When I was in Florida, you look for Chabad because it's that comfort thing. You know, it brings you back to like your grandmother's house and when you walk in it during a holiday and it's that smell of chicken soup. We have a daily service, the only one of its kind in Port Washington. The Chabad Hebrew School, bursting at its seams with over 150 children from all Jewish backgrounds. What's this? Our day school, beginning with the Florence Brownstein Preschool, and leading into the Max Ruh Schwartz Elementary. Over 200 children, most of whom come from secular homes, now getting an excellent general and Judaic education. What's Gar? What does Gar mean? For a child who comes into Hebrew school, they will learn to read Hebrew, they will learn to write Hebrew, they will learn conversational Hebrew. They'll learn Jewish history and they'll learn Jewish life, they'll learn holidays. The main thing is that they'll learn it all in a fun way, in an experiential way, and in a way which is applicable to their everyday life. Chabad Teen Club is very active in getting teens involved in Jewish activities. Our summer camp, the Berkowitz Gan Israel Day Camp. Well over 100 children each and every summer having a wonderful summer experience in a Jewish environment. They come out excited and happy about themselves and about their Judaism and they go on and share it with their friends. I have kids coming up and saying, oh, my friend has a great time in Hebrew school, my friend has a great time shooting hoops with the rabbi, can I join too? So that's how Chabad has grown. Our newest exciting program is Building Bridges of Long Island, a program that will embrace children from all backgrounds, working in cooperation with the local youth groups, be it the PAL, the soccer club, and the school district, bringing hundreds of children through the Chabad Gymnasium, which, please God, will be ready this time next year with everyone's help. We're now introducing the Jewish Learning Institute, a nationally acclaimed adult education institute, which will begin in our community after the holidays, and will offer comprehensive adult education programming so that Jewish adults can learn and grow and find out what it means to be a Jew. I thought that the rabbi himself was a very, very special person and with a very deep commitment to what he was doing. And then he introduced me to his wife and I saw what it was actually a family affair. We're always inspired by Sarah. She's fabulous. She's such a pillar in the community. If I have an issue, I can always call her day or night. She's, she's a really good friend to me also. The Chabad is all about upward and onward. As much as we've accomplished in the past 17 years, we're just beginning to touch the tip of the iceberg for what could be accomplished in this community. The Rebbe's attitude always was, it doesn't matter what you did yesterday, it's what are you going to do tomorrow. When you look at what's happened, uh, even though the Rebbe passed away, 
everything about Chabad is a manifestation of his philosophy. So everyone holds dear whatever his teachings were and uh, uses his teachings and his philosophy and his guidance as a living memory. And so that keeps him alive and it keeps the organization strong, growing, and vibrant. May you continue to do all the wonderful work you do. I'm, I'm not satisfied that only continue. It must be in the attempt to increase. Well, we'll be satisfied if you continue. No, not only I, I'm, for the... I'm not satisfied. It's not only about me. It's not uh, about you also. If you continue all the same thing, it is when every living thing must grow. Every person in this room, every person in this world has incredible energies and potential to share with everybody else, to bring out the goodness within everybody else. And if we all do that, not as a job, not as a rabbi, not as a rabbitin, not as a Chabad staff member, and you share it to make this world a more godly place, together we can accomplish the impossible. Do you want to get together with friends? Do you want to provide your kids with a rich experience? Do you want to provide yourself with a rich experience? That's what Chabad is here for. And people are flocking to it. People are flocking to the shul. People are flocking to be in the family. Because that's what I think we all are. I think we're a family. It doesn't matter where you came from. That's the most I can say, you know. It doesn't matter your background. You're all, we're all in it together. We're all the same here. When you're in the business of people, you always have to be growing. When you're in the business of raising children and building character, you always continue to grow. You don't look at the economic times. You can help us by growing your own Yiddishkeit, being more actively involved. Write a check to Chabad. Help us finish the big building that we're putting up. I always tell my Jews, it's the guilt. Not the guilt, it's the guilt. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey, onward and upward. Thank you to each and every one of you for your involvement and support to Chabad of Port Washington. We know you have many causes you can support, and we appreciate that you've chosen to go with us. Thank you for being on board. Have a wonderful evening.